So God gave me revelation about what it means to be lukewarm. He showed me two different people. The first person being a young lady. She doesn't cuss, she wears a purity ring, she's waiting to marriage. To the church, she looks like she's doing everything right. But he shows me that behind the scenes, he's been calling the same young woman into ministry and has been asking her to step into her ministry that he has created her for. She refuses to step into ministry and pursue the college degree for something that has nothing to do with what God created her for. To the church, she looks like she's walking in obedience, but God showed me in the spiritual, she is blatantly disobeying God by going against what he's called her to do. That looks like partial obedience. That looks like lukewarm behavior. God showed me a man. This is a sitting man. This is a man who cusses, but God called him into ministry. He sold all that he had. He sold his business. He sold all his comfortabilities. He laid down his life to pick up his cross. Was he cussing on the way? Yes, but he gave everything to obey God. Though this man's language is not the purest, he gave his full obedience to God. He does not serve both man and God because of his language. I wanna make it very clear that obedience does not require perfection. There are a lot of people today that are not walking in alignment with God, though they think they are because they live sin-free lives. God wants his people to go deeper with him, deeper into relationship, deeper with their faith. Faith requires walking in the dark. Faith requires not knowing what's gonna come on the other side, but obeying God. God wants his people to step into and operate out of their spiritual giftings that he has placed within them. God wants his people to walk in obedience and to be in partnership with him. God has called a lot of his people out of their comfortable lives to follow him because he has so much more for them that they don't even know. It requires people to not be their own savior, but to let God be their savior. People are quick to persecute false teachers, false prophets, but there are such a thing as false disciples. And that's Matthew 7:21. So I urge you, if God is leading you to do something, if God is speaking to you to go into a certain direction, if God is telling you to follow him, listen to God, obey God.